Welcome back to Who Chose. Uh, so you ever doing something like really mundane, you know, topping up the ice on your drink and think, what can I use as a seed raising container? How about this? <laughs> so today on Who Chose, you're going to need two ice trays, uh, ice cube makers, ice cube trays. And we're going to turn them into a seed propagating device. But first of all, you're going to need your ice cube trays. Now, I recommend getting the ice cube trays that uh, stack on top of each other like so, but also collapse into each other for storage because we're going to use the bottom one to hold uh, water and hydroponic nutrient eventually um, and the top one will dip into it so when you want to uh, replenish the water or the nutrient within the mix uh, it's as simple as just turning the ice cube tray around dipping it down and then turning it back the other way and sitting it on top and uh, that just blocks the light out from the reservoir underneath. It also allows the roots, uh, or will allow the roots, to grow down into it, uh, which will give you, you know, a little bit more time uh, between dunks if you forget. So let's get to it. First of all, So, secondly, we are going to drill five holes in the bottom of each of the ice cube hole of one of the trays you'll be using. This is gonna provide drainage for the plants in the individual spaces, uh, and it will allow the water to come up into the medium uh, once it's dunked in. Next, we're gonna fill up our ice cube holder half with vermiculite, half with perlite, then we're going to mix it up. Uh, make sure they're a fine grain of vermiculite and perlite, uh, just for seedlings. And then we can add in our seeds. Now, I've added in cucumbers, pickling cucumbers, and broccoli, and a few others. You get the idea. There's a lot of different plants in the one container. Uh, we will wet it, uh, get a little bit of abuse. Then we can soak the vermiculite perlite mix by dunking the ice cube tray into the lower tray, uh, then pulling it out, letting it drain, tipping out the bottom tray, uh, placing the trays into each other, and we can put them under lights to start the grow. There you have it, a fantastically cheap and simple DIY way to start seeds hydroponically. <laughs> now, uh, yes, I have started dunking these into hydroponic nutrient. Uh, they are 
doing really well. The, the, I mean, the, they've sent roots down into the nutrient underneath. You can actually see uh, the larger of the seedlings where the nutrient has been depleted in its uh, reservoir underneath. I'll show you. I mean, look at that. That's pretty cool. Uh, so you can see the res here is depleted because, you know, this is such um, a vigorous seedling. Um, and this one's a bit lower than all the rest as well. So when you want to top up the nutrients uh, and water in the top uh, media, all you do is you flip it around, drop it down, and uh, the nutrient solution or water, depending on the stage that you're at, uh, will just soak up into these ice cube compartments and uh, you know, you just take it out and that's replenished. I've got to say, um, I'm a really big fan of this technique, uh, not only because it allows you to be really lazy when it comes to um, just rushing in and replenishing that nutrient, uh, but when removing the seedlings, uh, you're not going to have the roots intermingling between ice cube compartments. So this will not be tangled up with this. Uh, these seedlings are going to be separated. The only thing that I'm worried about is those roots at the bottom. And if I try and pull one out now, we'll give it a go. So, I'll grab this one and hopefully those roots will just slide straight through those holes. No, oh, we've lost some. But that's that's a nice healthy root bowl. We have lost a couple of roots. Um, I'll get them out. So, we've lost those. But that seedling will bounce back easily. Try another. <clears throat> so I'll try another one. Um, so if you don't let them get, you know, as advanced as that one, we'll try this one and pull it up by the cotyledon leaves. And there you go. That's the whole root ball. That's pretty cool. All right. So make sure when you're pulling these out, pull them out by their first leaves or the cotyledon leaves, uh, because if you pull them out by the stem, you can damage them. All right. Now that I've made a lovely mess of these seedlings, I've got plans for them, don't worry. Big plans. <laughs> Like and subscribe to the channel for more videos. Uh, consider joining me on Patreon to help me make this a career. And I'll see you next time on Who Chose. Thanks for watching. Happy hydroponicking. Cheers. And all that. <laughs>